What's good guys here at the shop? Today is uh, June 7th, it's Friday, it is 12.30. We've been open for 30 minutes already. We got here about an hour early, me and Jacalo, just so we can start working on uh, the rest of the games that we didn't get to finish yesterday. Um, I already tested all the N64 games, they're all good to go, except for like two or three, which I'll open up later to give a better cleaning. But for the most part, um, all the ones that I priced that are tested, they're all cleaned already. Uh, they all turn on first try, which is the goal for uh, our N64 games and um so those are ready to go and then i'm just currently pricing this stack right here as you can see that ultimate spider-man that we picked up that was part of this lot does not work it's really scratched up i didn't even like see how scratched up it was because i had resurfaced it and then we we're trying to test it right now and the top of it has top scratches which i didn't even peep so uh that's things but we got a clean box manual and inserts which is really good and then as far as the ps2 slim we picked up from that lot that one also doesn't work uh, it doesn't read discs so i'm gonna have to get that one repaired kind of bummed out about that one because i did pay up a little bit more for that one um to make the deal happen because he wanted uh i get we had a price for everything and he was like oh i want a little bit for a little bit more for this one uh for the console specifically and i was like all right that's fine but um that's my fault for not testing it off the on the spot but um yeah that ps2 slim unfortunately it does not work but I, i'm gonna order the part get it fixed uh fortunately we do have an extra black slim here that we tested right now it's working fine so that one will be going out uh today as well and jack is gonna test the snes but um i'm gonna get these priced but the main reason why i turn on the camera is because i want to talk about this game infamous uh the collection this one's going for like 30 35 shipped i've had this copy so many times i've sold it for ten dollars I've, I've thrown it in bundles for a ps3 to make a sell happen because they weren't going for anything and um there's uh, there's like three four sold recently for 30 35 and there's a bunch listed for 35 to 40 so um realistically i think i can get 30 shipped for it maybe 35 i'll push for it uh but this one's missing the manual if it has a manual i need to check if it has a manual uh but um yeah just let you guys know if you guys see this one on the wild for a cheap price pick it up because I know I've had this one several times and I've uh, missed out on some potential profit. But it's all good. I'm gonna get these priced and uh, get everything together for a picture. Once we do that, I'll turn the camera back on and show you guys everything going out. So we're still testing a few more games. Uh, while we're doing that, I'm gonna show you guys the eBay orders that are going out. First, we got Marvel vs. Capcom for the PS Vita. Then we sold Deadpool for the Xbox One. We've gotten like, I think it's our third copy of Deadpool within like a span of like two weeks. We got two for the Xbox One, and then we got one for the PS4. Uh, then we sold Fantastic Four for the PS2. We sold 007 for the N64. We sold Punch-Out for the Wii. We sold Zelda Four Swords for the GameCube. And then we sold Shadow of the Colossus for the PS2. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. We also, sold, we also sold this racing jacket for 100 shipped. I'm so glad this one sold. We've had this one for a little bit. People kept asking us how much obviously in store uh it's gonna be a harder move just because it's a pricey one we sold three more items which i have right here with me first we got this pink floyd tee really nice graphic on the front nice back hit as well that one sold for 20 ships then we got this really cool modern grateful dead that's the back hit on it uh this is the front i think that one sold for 45 or 40 around there then we sold this j cole dreamville tee so this one uh we had it in store for 20 uh, we had it at 35 shipped on eBay, so it went off for 20, and I accepted it without looking at its original price, because uh, I'm when I pressed accept offer, it said it was 46% off, and I was like, what? I don't know. I just didn't, you know, more than like it was at 35, so I probably would count it with like, like 27, 25 around there, but it's whatever, uh, you know, made the sale. I don't think we paid that much for this one either. Anyway, so um you know we're making profit regardless but we sold those three we're gonna get these packaged up and shipped out and let's see how the rest of the day goes <laughs> 